Is putting non-binary better than saying straight white male on college applications? Check the college's common data set, just look up, college name backslash, common data set, and check character slash personal qualities. If it's marked not considered then it likely won't change their odds. If it's very important it might change their odds. Edit, it should be on about page 78 for most colleges. Find the list that has rows with check marks. Wow, I'm honestly surprised by some of the responses you're getting. Fact is, it really depends on the college. Without that information, no one can really give you a proper answer. I'm willing to bet that there are colleges where selecting non-binary will give you an edge and colleges where selecting non-binary will give you a disadvantage. I mean try it and tell us lol. So most colleges do have certain diversity scores they got a hit but I don't think it has anything to do with pronouns ATM. This is Reddit. Nobody here has an answer because nobody knows how that specific college exactly treats application. All you're getting is different political opinions disguised as answers. Do college applications in the US seriously ask for sexuality and ethnicity? I get asking gender but a job application can't even legally ask about your sexuality where I live. Non-binary person who applied, didn't help me, didn't get in anywhere that my about equally qualified Sishik friend didn't that we both applied at, only difference is I was given a different accommodation option for queer folks that just boiled down to changing the possible roommate pool. There is not an epidemic of straight white males being denied entrance to college. If he's getting denied, it's because of other reasons, and simply changing his pronouns on the application isn't going to help. The big college will be absolutely full of straight white dudes, like every other big college. Even if you subscribe to the affirmative action stuff, there are equally as many bigoted college admissions departments that would be more likely to turn you down for that. Stop watching Andrew Tate LOL. Maybe he should be more qualified. I think the better question is why he thinks it's okay to claim he's part of a marginalized group that he isn't just because he doesn't trust his merits to get him into the school. If affirmative action applies to non-binary then yes, if not no. Is your friend non-binary? Lying on a college application usually doesn't reflect well on a person. There are more qualified people in his same demographic. So your friend isn't very smart and is looking for a back door to get into a college he's not suited for? This should be the example of privilege in the encyclopedia. Have you ever been to a college campus? Has he? Believe me when I say being NB will not make it any easier, especially when you're looking for a job or internships. It won't reflect well on him if they find out he lied in the application form. Don't lie to get ahead. He's wrong in that he's essentially committing some mild fraud here by lying. Unless he secretly is non-binary. This is not a demographic that is going to be under affirmative action. Really, as it's more to do with race than sexuality or gender identity. I can honestly say that it might help his chances at some universities and then it might hurt his chances at others. Either way, it's not likely to be the biggest influence on a decision to a university. They care more about your scores, grades, extracurriculars, and things like need, network, and charm can even impact acceptance. This by itself might be something like 1% of the total decision. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.